I just wanted to do a quick video which featured the marking tool, fabric compensation and borders all in one go. Um, so I'm just going to bring up my working area. I'm going to use the marking tool to mark out a border which has a wiggle in it. Um, the joy with the marking tool is that it will stay there whichever part of the program you use. And the only way to get rid of it is to unload the program or clear it in the marking tool bit. It will stay there whatever you're doing. So let's go into marking tool. Let's make a border with a wiggle. The other joy with marking tool is that you have, have layers with it. So that's my first layer. I'm going to add a marking. This is my second layer. So I can So I'll add a third marking just so you can see how to do how to go. I'm going to add another border in, a smaller one. Very wiggly one. Okay, I can go on adding, so I can actually put in my whole section of, of quilt so that I can put in all my blocks, which is a lovely feature. You can carry on adding until you've got, got your design, but that's not what I want to do here. So that's your marking tool. You just click around. I'm going to OK that. Now I'm going to come out of there and go into borders. And now, because I've got that sort of my quilt in simulation mode, I can now pick my style. I'm going to go for a corner. I can now come through, come round and mark the positions on the quilt. Now that's the position of, of the border. Um, if I set margins, because somebody asked about margins, and get patterns, corner pattern. I'm going to go for that one, heart session, the corners in the border. Now, that's the border placed, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't take effect or account of my wavy border. But I'm going to say, I'm going to sew that. That will then move into here. But I can put in some fabric compensation now. And I'm going to going to pull it up. Okay, 
And then I can move on to the next section, which is down the side, which is fine. That, that bit of side is fine as well. And then this, this one I need to pull up as well. Okay. So you can see now that it should have been there, but now I've got my fabric compensation, it's going up in there. Now the other joy with this is, one, if you turn to the quilt so that you're stitching You've stitched it top and bottom, you've turned it, and you just want to stitch the middle section. Um, we can do that as well, uh, using the, the marking tool. Because what we're going to have, let's just look at where, let's pretend we're just doing the cult. So we've got the corners positioned. Uh, I'm going to use the marking tool now to show where on, I've got to add one. Where the joining point is. Boom. I'm going to add. And then I'm going to add another point. It's going to be there. So that that's where I really need to be adding the point. Go back to place one. If we now, when we come come to join them, we only want to sew the middle section. So I'm just going to sew the border. Okay. I'm going to put some fabric compensation in again. Come up there. That's good. No now, if we go back to placement, okay, and we're setting the margins, we want to set them to that point there. We use this set left edge and right edge to the points where we want to join. So we click there. Then we come over to that one and do right edge. And then you go back back to sew just the border. And away you go. So the joy of simulation. Thank you.